Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will learn how to navigate and use the features Rich Review 21 interface. The Review 21 interface may seem a bit complex to new users, but it will start making sense once you get used to it. The Review interface is segmented into different parts, the menu bar, navigation, status, and properties bars, panels, toolbar, markup editor, and workspace. Let's discuss each of these and see how to use them to locate and use Review 21's incredible features. When you open Review 21 on your desktop, most of the options will appear gray out unless you open a PDF file. To do this, go to the Files menu at the top left and click Open to open your desired PDF from your drive location. Once you open your PDF file, all of the review menus and options will become accessible. Let's start from the menu bar at the top. The menu bar offers various tabs to organize review's features under different menus. The first one is the review menu. Under the review menu, just below the about option, there is a preferences option. Click it to set your preferences and customize your desktop experience. Wait for the Preferences dialog box to appear. Under General Preferences, you can set a username, change the interface language, and set Tab Truncation to control how the tab labels appear when multiple files are opened in review. There are many preference settings. The recent update in Review 21 allows you to search for your desired preferences using a search bar. For instance, if we type Markups, Review will provide a list of settings related to markups. You can also check keyboard shortcuts in the review menu and change them to match your preferences. We have created a separate video on keyboard shortcuts in Review 21. Next, in the File menu, you will have multiple options to create, open, or save PDFs. In the Edit menu, you can select Pan or Select Tools to navigate the workspace. These options can be directly accessed from the navigation bar below. Additionally, the Snapshot tool allows you to take snapshots of your PDF content and paste them as images on other pages or files. Similarly, the Edit Content feature offers various PDF editing features. In the View tab, you can change how your review window appears. You can also enable grids on your workspace and various snap options. These snap features are also accessible directly from the status bar below. We will see their practicality later in the video. The Documents tab has some very useful features, including the most important ones, like flattening your document markups or manipulating PDF documents and pages to customize and edit PDF documents in one go. You can also translate your markups from the Documents menu for seamless localization across different languages. In the Batch menu, you will find Review's robust batch processing feature, which allows you to implement various document settings across a batch of multiple documents at once. The Tools menu provides various markups, measurements, and stamps under a single menu. In the Windows menu, you can toggle between full screen, presentation, and normal modes based on your preferences. In the Help menu, you can check for review updates that Bluebeam keeps releasing frequently. You can also select the Welcome to Review option to open a welcome screen with short Bluebeam tutorials that you normally see after opening review for the first time after downloading. New Bluebeam users can easily find tools and commands by using the search bar in the Help menu. This will help them discover different features of Review 21 until they get used to the interface. Let's move towards the panels in Bluebeam, which are aligned at the left of your workspace. To open panels, click your desired panels, like this measurement panel, which offers all of the advanced Review measurement tools along with the calibration feature to calibrate your drawing scale. This briefcase icon is for the tool chess panel where you can create custom tool sets to save frequently used and standard tools or markups. 
This home-like icon is for Bluebeam Studio, which you can use to collaborate with your team members while working on live files in studio sessions and saving project files in studio projects. Watch our separate videos on Bluebeam Studio sessions and projects. If you find it difficult to recognize different review panels, right-click on the empty area of your panel's bar and hover your cursor over the show menu. Here, you can click your desired panels, which will pop out from the panel's bar. With time, you will get used to the review interface and start recognizing panel icons. To hide panels, right-click on the unwanted panels and hide them. You can go back to the show option and get them back anytime you want. Watch our other video on using and customizing panels to learn more about different navigation options related to review panels. If you go back to the tools menu, you can enable or disable three more bars, the status bar, the navigation bar, and the properties bar. These bars are enabled by default, and we will explore them further in this video. You can enable or disable the navigation, status, and properties bar anytime to customize your review interface. On the right, we have Review's Quick Access Toolbar which may appear in different positions with different tools based on your review profile. You can also adjust it by clicking the dotted line above and dragging and placing the tools anywhere you want. You can also enable different tools by right-clicking on the empty space in the toolbar. The additional tools will appear in the toolbar at the top below the menu bar. You can also click and drag them anywhere you want for more customization. Let's disable them for now. You can go to the Review menu and choose different profiles with different tools on your interface with default interface settings. The basic one is the Review Profile, and Review Advance is for more experienced Review users. You can also create custom profiles. Watch our separate video on this to see how. Let's move towards the navigation bar below. Here, you can navigate between different pages of your PDF document. This PDF file has only one page so the toggle buttons are grayed out. You can use the Select tool to select individual markups by clicking them or a group of markups by clicking and dragging to create a selection around them. The Pan tool with a hand icon helps you move and hover your PDF document to access different PDF regions in a zoomed view. You can zoom in and out by scrolling your mouse wheel up and down, respectively. In the navigation bar, you can split views horizontally or vertically to view multiple documents or pages side by side, which helps with document comparison. You can also toggle between the full page or scroll pages view based on your requirements and navigation preferences while working with multi-page PDFs. Right below the navigation bar is the status bar. Here, you can enable or disable grids in your workspace. There are three very useful snapping features, snap to grid, content, and markups. Ensure that your snap to content and markups features are enabled while performing measurements and annotations. With these snap features enabled, when you create any markup or measurement, it will automatically align with the boundary of the objects on your PDF content and your markups. With the Snap to Content feature disabled, your cursor moves independently without automatically aligning with the PDF content. Enabling the Snap features helps you work seamlessly, confidently, and accurately 
with your markup and measurement tools. If you select any markup or measurement, you will get a markup editor bar at the top. Here, you can change their appearance, such as color, line color, transparency, etc. Or alter text formats for text-based markups. This customization helps you avoid the clutter of similar and hard-to-identify annotations while working with multiple markups and measurements. This is it for today. Don't forget to watch our other videos related to all things Bluebeam. We have covered all the tools and features in depth to help you get up and running with your review subscription. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics, your go-to partner for all things Bluebeam digitizing construction since 2003.